the wee witch potion problems once upon a time there was a wee witch named lily she was new to spell crafting tonight she would cast her first spell a luck spell she was so excited to do it all by herself she gathered everything she needed she snipped some hair from her dog and gathered a pebble from the beach the first one she saw then she filled a bottle with water from the stream and ran home to wait for the moon to rise she was ready she had to be she was vibrating with anticipation the full moon rose this was her moment into the pot she threw hair of dog pebble of beach and water of stream the cauldron bubbled and bubbled it began to glow a light purple with the moon starting to rise high in the sky she said the magic words magic magic everywhere magic magic here and there magic magic cold and hot magic magic in my pot suddenly the cauldron was no longer purple instead a pale green oh no she thought i must have missed something but what as she pondered she heard a knock at the door it was her best friend daisy who stopped by to see how everything was going daisy you're just in time i'm trying my first spell all by myself but it's not working. Daisy read over the spell and immediately saw the problem. She went to tell Lily, but Lily stopped her. Wait, if you tell me how to do it, I won't be doing it all alone. Daisy sighed. She so badly wanted to help Lily. I guess you'll have to try it next month. Maybe give the spell another read before the next full moon. Oh no, cried Lily. I wanted to cast my first spell alone tonight. It was getting late. Daisy smiled. You know, you could give the spell a second look. Lily cut her off. I could cast a different spell to pause back time. Lily pulled the spell book from Daisy and began frantically flipping. Aha! I just need a few things. Lily ran out into her garden to gather the items she needed. Daisy watched from the window. Daisy! Lily called as she ran back into the house. Are you just going to sit there or are you gonna help me? Daisy got up and helped Lily harvest everything she needed. Lily was frantic by now. Lily! Take a deep breath. You are frantic. You don't understand. Tonight is supposed to be my magic night. I am supposed to do it. Do it all by myself. It's going to be ruined. I'll never be able to do it on my own. Lily began to sob on the floor. Daisy sat beside her. She handed Lily the spell book. Why don't you give the spell another look? Lily began to read the spell out loud, getting more and more upset. I did all this! Her tears fell on the book and separated the two pages that were stuck together. Wait, wait a minute! I only did half the spell. I missed two things. Daisy, I can do it! Yes, you can. I will leave now. Let me know how it goes in the morning. Daisy went to leave. Wait, why don't you stay? I know I want to do my first solo spell, but maybe that's best for another night. I would feel much better with your support, Lily pleaded. Okay, Daisy said, but you will be in charge. It's all you. I am behind you and with you the whole way. Daisy and Lily relit the cauldron. Lily threw in hair of dog, pebble of beach, water of stream, nail clipping of big toe, and glass of green. 
Daisy stirred each item in. The cauldron began to glow purple. Lily and Daisy held hands over the pot and said the magic words. Magic, magic everywhere. Magic, magic here and there. Magic, magic cold and hot. Magic, magic in my pot. A purple smoke cloud floated out of the cauldron and encircled the witches. I did it! I did it! Lily said. I mean, we did it. Thank you, Daisy. Magic, magic can stress a lot. Magic, magic, take your time to show them what you've got. The end.